Okay, what I have here is an ESP8266 module. It's a Wi-Fi module connected to a logic level shift converter with an IEC serial port cable for the Commodore 64 connected to that. And that is also connected to my MacBook over here. And we're going to use the UNO to IEC software and firmware that I've modified and loaded onto the uh, Wi-Fi chip there to transfer software from the MacBook to the Commodore 64. So I'm going to load up a disk image here. There we go. Loaded. That is, uh, let's see, let's load the directory listing. Com8. Okay. Let's see if we can see that. And I typed that wrong. Now shift O. There we go. Loading. All right, we've got a list. Directory listing. That looks good. Let's load the program. And it's loading over here. You see it transfer in the file to the Commodore 64 through the ESP8266 chip. And almost done. Ready. All right. Are you in? And it works. <laughs> so let me stop the audio here. There we go. So next step is to utilize the 16 megs of flash memory on this ESP8266 module to load the disk image directly from there and transfer it to the Commodore 64. After that, we will um, combine the firmware for the IEC interface with a soft modem um, firmware and we are going to convert this into or turn this into a Wi-Fi modem with a built-in disk drive emulator and with 16 megs you can hold about mm, close to 20 maybe 20 disks or so on there uh, but with the Wi-Fi interface you can also download more images directly to the flash memory and um, use them that way. So that's the ultimate goal here is to have a Wi-Fi modem with a 1541 interface so that you can have access to the entire collection of everything ever made for the Commodore 64 through this one little device over the internet.